everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message. So before we get started here, if you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please do not wait to put in your request until we're like a couple of days before 11-11 and everybody floods in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just visit the website, see if it's for you, okay? Also, I have an upcoming live about the 1111 portal prep that will be happening on November 1st if you are seeing this video before then. But always check the description box because I will keep you updated on upcoming lives. So let's dive into this here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune in here for a moment. I'm hearing surprise. <laughs> so for some of you, this might almost be like a life altering kind of um, surprise. Like maybe you do get that job offer. Some of you find out you're pregnant or um, you get accepted to that school or, you know, we don't always have to judge these messages based on outward appearances. Okay. So this could be you know, this is the time where you finally realize you're ready to let go of some hurt, some pain. You're ready to move on from it, that sort of thing, okay? So there is this big shift. It will not be positive for everyone. Obviously, if you're somebody who functions from a very negative space or you have taken advantage of people, you think your behavior is fine, when I say people are going to continue to get exposed, watch out. And I'm talking major, major, major institutions that people are, you know, just wanting to be a part of. I have this feeling here that we're going to start backing up and realizing, let's just work with each other instead of, you know, these places that put these people in place who get this God complex and think that they can literally, um, you know, be predatory or they can be horrible, intimidating, threatening. They can abuse people and then play the victim for things that they created. So we are going to be seeing this, be ready for that, because that's going to be a little bit interesting, I do believe. And as we're coming into the holiday season here, uh, I just received a package and it was coming from a certain country and I sat there and looked at it and went, okay, I, I want to be more mindful <laughs> about what I'm receiving, what I'm having coming into my home, um, even, and I shared this a couple of years ago, I, you know, I have to purchase wardrobe for, for my YouTube channel here. And, you know, I would get these pieces, not realizing the history behind the brand. Now that's impossible to know all of that exactly. But the little bit that I did find out, I was not too happy. I was not too happy about that at all. And I immediately stopped buying it. So, you know, it is that kind of thing. I'm not trying to be self-righteous or anything like that. You do whatever you think is right for you. But um, there's a mindfulness that needs to happen here. And it does have to do with the flow of our energy. What are we allowing in? Okay. Um, when we're allowing things into our home. I will tell you flat out, as ridiculous as this may sound to you, you know, when you clean and declutter your home, things start flowing in your life. It's true. I've had it happen where things are, you know, just kind of stagnating. They're not moving. And then I, you know, just take a break and let me organize and beautify my home a little bit. And then all of a sudden everything shifts. Now I'm not saying I have a hair tickling my face. <laughs> okay. I can't find it. Whatever. It's just existing there. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, this is that kind of thing where I've, I've lived through this, where everything is stagnated and then I clean my home. And when this, you know, it might be creativity that starts flowing or I notice that, um, you know, it just feels like there's more freedom around me and my energy field and, and all that. So really pay attention to where there might be a sensitivity around that. Again, we're not encouraging people to be self-righteous here. We've seen that in the spiritual community, haven't we? I'm too precious for anything. <laughs> like, oh, dropped a card. That's what I get. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're back. Hi. <laughs> so the card is Passion, Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. See, this is what we're talking about here. This, there's a, a shift, a perspective shift. And so something that is like, remember we said, surprise, here you go. This might be somebody coming back and saying how much they love you. Yeah, it could be that. 
But if you are somebody who is desperate for love because you need constant validation, you're missing the point. That's not what this is, okay? Archangel Haniel is all about the divine feminine. And there is a huge movement for us to heal the divine feminine. And we're starting to see it on a surface level now too, whether you like it or you don't. Don't land on the wrong side of history, okay? <laughs> like, be careful with this. So the passion might come from, okay, I have this realization about what I'm willing to accept in my life. Some of you may have thought you were madly in love with someone only later to discover, oh, that's grooming. That's trauma bonding. Check with an expert. That person's actually an abuser, but they had a sob story. So they pulled me in with them. Or I have a case where somebody used other people to come and gaslight me to tell me that this person's really great and you misunderstood and you did this and you did that. And the grooming and the years of like this pressure, I literally started to think that I was in love with this person. That's how bad it can be. And then when I couldn't let it go, feeling guilty, thinking that I had done something wrong, I had walked away from a wonderful person I realized I was trauma bonded to this person. And I'll tell you what, take a spiritual woman specifically and have her wake up to realizing that somebody was an abuser. How well do you think that's going to go for you? Yeah, we know energy. Okay, I'm not saying I'm trying to do some revenge stuff, but um, <laughs> anyway, this could be that kind of surprise where you wake up to that and you have this realization, but what ends up happening is now you're free. Now your heart can be open. Now you have the clarity. Now you can go towards the love that you really deserve, right? Or the friendship that you really deserve or the job you really deserve or whatever, okay? This also feels a little bit um, about following your passion. So uh, I know I have, I just got a message this morning that I have put my writing, you guys know I talk about that all the time, but I put it on the back burner. I don't get to it. And they're like, um, <clears throat> you, you need to do that. <laughs> like, okay, okay. So you might be getting something like that too, where some sort of download, especially if you're, you know, working on a creative project or you are trying to find a creative solution to something, you know, you might suddenly have this inspiration. So that's a very beautiful card to start with. We, there, but there's a break first. There's something that um, comes shattering down and then you see the truth of something there in front of you. Beautiful aha moment. I've got my microphone right here now. <laughs> so I'm trying to like not have the cards too close to them. Uh, so yeah, so there, there could be that there's that breakdown first and then the inspiration follows. Okay, so just be ready for that process. I think the biggest way we would get in our way is to get scared and pull back. Or, um, you know, I was using the example of love. Maybe you're so afraid of not having love that you will convince yourself that somebody who potentially was an abuser is your twin flame, your soulmate, someone you need to hang on to. Just holding yourself up. Trust and believe, honey. I am 45 years old and I'm only just now realizing this about some of the people in my life from my past. So <laughs> you know, it, it's a thing. Do not as I do. Don't wait. Okay. All right. So we have the next card, which is gentleness. This is that time when that, that shattering kind of moment happens. Be gentle with yourself. Do not go scrambling to pick up the pieces, especially if it's somebody from your past who um, just thinks that, they will always have access to you. Or you're kind and compassionate. I can always come back to you. This might be uh, an ex-employer as well. Uh, and for some of you out there, and again, I, I know this very well, watch for the aging narcissist. Especially if it is someone from the past that was like a romantic interest. Remember, when they start to age and they're not getting the same attention from the 20-somethings that they used to, they'll come to you. And, and try to get you to love them. And, you know, again, they're going to have a whole story. Just be careful with that. So gentleness, Archangel Sandalfin, being balanced, being in alignment, using sound frequencies. Check out my channel. I am getting, as fast as I can, getting <laughs> meditations out there for all of us, you know, as a practical tool so that we can really 
be working on our energy. So this says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Um, again, don't go into the self-righteous, I'm too precious for anything nonsense. This is talking more about if you need to retreat a little bit. Uh, and I would even, I'm bumping things. <laughs> I would even dare say, if you do have somebody coming back from the past and you know they're toxic and they're just trying to get at your energy again, you don't have to answer that phone call. You don't have to answer that text or that email or whatever, okay? And they're going to get mad because they think they have a right to you, right? They think that you're their fallback person. I'm thinking of this example of like, like let's say you get passed up for a job offer. Months go by. The person they chose isn't working out. And so they come back to you and go, okay, you are a second choice, but you want this job? You might be like, you know what? No. <laughs> right? Like if, if you couldn't see that I was right for the job. And I know a lot of people out there who maybe work in HR, you say, well, that's harsh. Well, I've worked in HR. Y'all aren't, I know your gig. Okay. You're not always looking at things for what they really are. You know what I'm saying? You're just kind of looking at the surface level. So, you know, separating yourself from people who might be trying to siphon your energy or um, try to make you feel guilty. Give yourself some space for this process to occur. Okay. Sensitivity. It's Archangel Haniel again. So be working on that divine feminine aspect. Everyone has masculine and feminine within them. One of the weirdest things I think I've ever heard in my life was um, some guy was on one of the platforms saying, men, listen up. You know, these women out here, you're complaining because they're so masculine and independent. And you don't like that, but it's our fault. We made them that way because we're not stepping up and protecting them. And I've heard lots of women say that if they felt protected, do you like my man impersonation? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry guys out there. We have so many amazing men who are, you know, viewers here and I love you guys so much. But, you know, he was saying, you know, it, it, I've heard many women say that if they felt protective, they would finally submit. So guys, listen up. You need to make your woman feel protected so she will submit. The comfort level that people have with their stupidity is just confounding to me. I, you don't feel that. You don't pick up on that. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's like your crack hanging out. You must feel that. How do you not know that is occurring? comment your complaints down below. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but let me know how you feel. Okay. <laughs> Sensitivity, Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. So that with the gentleness, uh, this is really deconstructing from the nonsense. And you're realizing where your energy gets thrown and where it gets spent. Right. And it's not this, oh gosh, us humans trying to make things better. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't, well, isn't that convenient? Because people have really gone off the rails with that. And now we overlook everything. Everything is just not a big deal. <laughs> right? And look at where we are. Hot, stinky mess. Okay? And yes, we need to honor our sensitivities. Yes, we need to see where we can spend our energy in a better way. But maybe spending your energy saying, hey, like I just said here, that comment about if we were protective of women, they would submit to us and how messed up that is. How conditioned are we to not say stuff like that? How much backlash do I get when I point things out? <laughs> how often do people expect me as an angel, medium, practitioner, channeler, however you want to see me, I get so much backlash for not being soft-spoken. And, and, you know, and fake. Wake up. Okay, that's part of waking up. Right there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right. Oh. Uh, I was going to take that card, but it didn't feel like it was the right one. Alrighty. I'm telling you, when we kind of pull back from the conditioning, and people are so conditioned we don't even realize it. We don't even realize it. 
Um, when we pull back from that, we realize just how much that is taken from us by not standing up and saying something. Overcoming difficulties. Look at me. I'm so excited. I'm like, overcoming the difficulties. <laughs> My earrings, ow. Archangel Jeremiah, who's all about uh, life review. This is a time of retreating, sitting with it, seeing how we actually feel. Okay. <laughs> Getting clarity. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So yes, this, you know, everybody always wants to look at things from a surface level. Sure. We could look at that. That is not what we do here. Okay. This is on such a deep level. So profound. Don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> Don't miss the good stuff. Okay. So, um, this overcoming difficulties definitely feels like the stuff we've been talking about throughout this entire reading, which is look at what's really there. Do you want to participate in that anymore? I don't know about any of you, but usually when I see some sort of celebrity that's out there saying this, that, and the other, I just kind of swipe on past it. I, I don't, <laughs> just because you got famous doesn't mean you're the authority on what's going on in the world. All right, let's get one more card. And then I will move on to the dailies. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, I'm going to keep shuffling. What the heck was that? <laughs> so how are you? How are things? We good? Yeah? Feeling, feeling good? Okay. Here it is. We have Rochelle. This card always cracks me up because she ain't messing with nobody. Okay? You want to talk about these cards with Haniel. Divine Feminine, being in the Divine Feminine power, and men, you have that too. Don't forget, okay? This says, um, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. I have a perfect example. People keep asking me, Michelle, you worked in book publishing for years. Why aren't you published? Because I worked in book publishing. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying I'm closed off to a conventional publisher, but... Ooh, it's taken me years to kind of like navigate that world. And I, 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 I've seen it. I don't want to be a part of it. So, um, unless I find like a really good company that, you know, anyway, so <laughs> that doesn't pull all the, the tricks. So what happens is a lot of times things hold us up. Like in this example, I, I have been writing books since I was 13. I, didn't, well, I don't think that was a full book. It would have been like a novella, maybe, on a good day. <laughs> maybe. But, you know, I've been writing for a very long time. And it just kind of gets to that point that there's a block there. When we start crumbling that down and saying, you know what? People we thought had power over us have no power over us. We are the power. And when we start finding our own way and that starts breaking down, that prosperity is just going to come flooding in and it's going to be beautiful. So don't give up on your passions. Where was that? Yeah. Your passion, this prosperity, it's, I can't see both of them. There we go. <laughs> when we put this energy together, this is breakthrough kind of energy. This not desperate, not impulsive. That, that's very, okay. Um, cause this would be the kind of thing, like I'm giving the book publishing example, like, oh, I'm just going to go self publish. Well, you could do that. People do it all the time. It's so funny because I see people come and they're like, oh, I'm just, I just put this thing together and I just self publish. And then you read it and it's like, yeah, self published books do, okay, you can tell that they've been self published, right? You know, you can just tell, but, uh, you know, it, it's not just rushing ahead and trying to find uh, the next, you know, surface level solution. You know, it could be this kind of thing where you do find a good partnership with a company that, that's a publishing company, maybe. Or maybe you find another solution where you can publish, you know, in another way. So just, yes, you're having this breakthrough moment. You might have this surge and wanting to hurry up and get out there. But there's a message here to be very careful with that, Okay. Let the, the deeper spiritual moment unfold, okay? Let that happen first. Everything else will come together in the way it needs to, all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.